A Fox Business Alert stock soaring today on word the referendum vote on Greece's bailout will be canceled. Now, this averted a crisis for now, not just over there, but here as well. So why? We are joined by Tom Belisis. He is of John Thomas Financial. Tom, why should we care about this at all? There's a lot of reasons. I don't think most average Americans understand the depth of the Greek crisis. I also don't think they realize that it can affect them here, David, you know, personally. I mean, our stock markets will get affected from any negative news that comes out of the crisis in Greece or in the European aspect. So some Americans, if not a lot of Americans, will see a hit on their 401k accounts, unfortunately, or any of the other investment accounts. Well, we've seen MF Global, John Corzine's group. We just talked to Charlie Gasparino about that. According to Charlie, it's, it's been kind of contained to this one fund, the, the, the MF Global Fund. Uh, there may be others involved, may not be. I mean, what do you know about that? Well, let me put it to you this way. I think a lot of people are, are looking past what happened with MF Global to seeing if the spillover effect goes into Italy, Portugal, and Spain. I mean, let's look at the money market, you know, funds. Back in 2008, what happened? It broke the fund. It broke that buck, right? And what happened? People got That's very nervous. That's why even our savings accounts were at risk. Our, that, our regular savings accounts at banks were at risk if, since that one fund broke the buck. That is correct. Now, they don't have Greek holdings, but what they do have is loans to these European banks. By the way, let me just explain. When I say broke the buck, what we're talking about is losing your principal. That is you correct. That, okay, you may not get interest on the money you have in your bank, but you think you're at least going to have the principal. If they break the buck, that means that you actually are losing your principal at the bank, and that's scary. That is very scary, and people then want to think about maybe taking all their money out of their bank, and that's what possibly could have happened back in 2008. So there's a lot of you things. You began to see that, by the way. A couple of yeah. banks, you began to see runs. You did, and that's why a lot of uh, what happened with Washington coming to the aid of these banks to, you know, restore confidence made people now sit back and say, okay, you know what, maybe confidence is coming back into the system, and that's why that didn't happen. Now, we don't want to start a panic here and uh, start a run in a bank. The fact of the matter is we are, our banks are much better capitalized now than they were in 2008. Well, so the a chance, question. even if things deteriorate further over in Europe, if what we see in Greece spills over into Italy and Spain and Portugal and the rest, it, it may affect their banks badly. They may see some runs. And, of course, we have branches of their banks like HSBC. Uh, but most of our banks are better capitalized. They're now. much better capitalized. Unfortunately, you may have a situation where the U.S. banks have to pump money into these European banks because if those banks freeze up, it could be a very big disaster that happens Wait all over Europe. You're saying that we take our money after we have just spent three years killing ourselves to recapitalize, we spend some of that cash over there? Unfortunately, if, if the European banks have problems with their lenders and they can't get money, who's going to have to come to save them? The U.S. Now, when you say problems with their lenders, you're talking about the bondholders. Absolutely. The people who, well, why can't they just take their haircuts? Listen, they probably... I, I know you're not the right person to talk to about haircuts, <laughs> but... <laughs> you know what it is, too? You know, ultimately, listen, the ECB guarantees the loans, but if there's a freeze and a panic that hits the system and there's no confidence, everything dries up. No one wants to put up any money. So where are they going to come to? The U.S. for the money. Unfortunately, that may happen. It's highly unlikely, but there's a possibility. You know what people forget is even when things are at their worst, there are investors willing to invest in some of these very, very down funds, like a, a, a Greek bond fund, right? That is correct. I mean, a lot of these uh, banks, I mean, let's look at what Would happened. Would you buy into that, by the way? Would Not you buy a Greek yet, bond fund? but eventually it'll be a great opportunity to buy some of these Greek banks on the pullback. I mean, let's look what happened with Argentina and Brazil. Years ago, they went through the same thing. What happened? They restructured their entire debt, and look what Argentina's doing now, look what Brazil's doing now. I believe Greece, over the next decade, could see growth if they restructure and get back on track with the mentality of getting back to work. Even if they leave the euro, even if they go back to the drachma and go back to their own local currency and have to devalue? I think that if they go back to the drachma, it's going to happen a lot quicker, right? Why? Because they're going to print whatever type of money they need to fix the system. And that's unfortunate. That would cause hyperinflation, it, wouldn't it? It will, short term, but overall, longer term, at least money will be back into the system. That's what's happening now. There's no money <coughs> in the system. That's why people are panicking and rioting in the streets. Well, if they totally devalue their own currency, then they go on sale. The whole country goes on sale. Assets in Greece will become cheaper than they have been for anybody for years since they joined the euro. Absolutely, and that's when it's going to be a great time to buy assets in Greece. Would you be buying then? Absolutely. You would be. Yes. All right. What's your overall feeling about how this is going to resolve itself? I mean... Th I th I've, we've talked before, and you, you think right. that they're going to stay in the euro, that they will not 
break off from the euro? It's going to be very difficult for Greece to leave the euro. Why? Because if the other countries like Italy, Spain, and Portugal see that Greece left and didn't have to pay their debt, they're going to say, then why do we have to pay our debt? So I believe they're going to stay in the euro. Tom Belises, I hope you stay with us. I hope to see you tomorrow. We're going to have Thank a you. special, by the way, tomorrow on, the, on Greece in this hour. The crisis in Greece is the name of the special. This, of course, is a rapidly changing situation with true implications, as Tom just explained, for all of us right here in America. What happens tomorrow night could determine if we melt down on Monday morning. We are on it, and we look forward to you joining us 